I just completed a dual tank SVO conversion on this old 83-300D. Now SVO stands for straight vegetable oil, dual tank conversion, we call it a DTC. Why dual tanks? Well, I've explained that in my other videos, but I'm just about ready to get this engine fired up. So I've got some fresh Mazzola in the trunk in a separate tank. I have diesel in my standard tank. I have completed the plumbing. I have completed the wiring. But before I fire this engine up, I want to do a final test of the function of the valving and the pumps before I put the fire to this engine. What I want to do now is I want to pull off the hose going in to the injection pump. And then I'm going to run my two electric pumps. I can do this because I have an electric pump here for diesel fuel and I have an electric pump in the trunk for vegetable oil. So I'll pull this line out and I'm going to start turning valves and making sure that when I turn the valve to vegetable oil, I have vegetable oil going to the injection pump. And when I turn the valve for diesel fuel, I've got diesel fuel going down to the injection pump. That'll confirm my plumbing is correct and my valving is correct. Now you see this valve here, that's my main valve to choose between the two fuel sources. When I have it pointed this way, I'm selecting vegetable oil fuel coming through this boost heater, going into the valve, coming out the bottom and going right down to the injection pump. If I turn the valve the other way, this is diesel fuel coming from the diesel filter, coming up to the valve, entering this line and going down to the injection pump. So I'm going to take and I'm going to pull this off. I've got the rags down there to protect the motor mount. I'm going to pull this hose off. I'm going to clamp it off so it doesn't drain. And then I'm going to show you how I switch pumps and switch valves. And let's see if we get veggie when we want veggie and diesel when we want diesel. All right, see how I've used a clamp to clamp the hose off. And I will reach down in here. All right, I'm going to loosen that screw up. All right, now I should pull this off and I'm not going to lose too much fuel. Look at that, it's not bad. And I've got two containers here. And we're going to use one for diesel fuel and one for vegetable oil. All right, I think I can remove the clamping tool now. So what I'm going to do first is test diesel flow, okay? Now, uh, I have it turned towards the diesel. So that's my clue here. We're gonna check diesel. I'm gonna turn this pump on and let's see if it pumps diesel. Oh, look at that. Okay, now it might be a little bit yellow because there's been a little bit of veggie in these lines, but that's definitely diesel fuel. Now, I'm gonna take and turn the valve. That's gonna bring our fuel from our veggie tank up through the veggie filter and through here and take it into this line. There's two reasons I'm doing this procedure, by the way. One is to test the valves and the plumbing. The other is to purge both systems before I try to start the engine. If you have a bunch of air in all these hoses, you're going to have a heck of a time ever getting this engine to run. All right, now I'm going to turn on the pump in the trunk. Here it comes. That's coming all the way from the trunk. All right, see that? That's vegetable oil. That's Mazzola, top grade. I use nothing but the best. You can see how thick that fuel is. And that's the reason we use a boost heater. So I'll turn the pump off. Okay, so that looks good. Look at that. Right up here. We have diesel and we have vegetable. Now the vegetable oil is fairly thin because it's pretty warm out today, about 70 degrees. So I'm going to hook this back up. And we're going to roll it outside, and I'm going to start it up on diesel before I test the veggie function. Now I want to see if I can get the engine to fire before I roll it completely out of the shop. 
I'm going to set this up to run on diesel. I'll show you the two valve positions. Then I'm going to turn the pump on, and I'm not going to actually use the hand primer pump. And I'm going to see if we can prime this enough without having to break the injector lines at the fuel injectors to get all the air out. So I'll turn this valve to select diesel fuel coming from the factory diesel filter. I will come down to my return valve, and because I'm running diesel fuel, I'm going to set this to point to go back. We are going to return fuel to the tank, the factory tank, when we're running on diesel. And now I'll turn the diesel pump on. Here you can hear it clicking. Then I'm going to reach down here and I'm going to pump with the hand primer pump at the lift pump. Let's see if we can get it to squeak. Okay, it feels tight. Now I'm going to get in the car and let's see if it fires up. Wow. That's not bad. That's your typical sound of a 617 engine running on diesel fuel. You can hear the clatter of the injector nailing at idle. Now I'm going to push it outside and we'll let it warm up a little bit on diesel and then I'll show you what happens when we switch it over to vegetable oil. Now to switch to vegetable oil, I'll turn the pump on in the trunk. I'm going to switch this valve. For vegetable fuel, I'm going to take the return valve. I'm going to switch it. So return fuel comes right back up into here and goes right back down to the lift pump. Then one more, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the boost heater. Yes, let's look at the time. Can you hear already? Can you hear the difference in the sound of the engine? The vegetable oil will reduce the sound of injector knock and it will make this engine so it only took two minutes to switch over and to quiet this engine down running on straight vegetable oil. Isn't that amazing? Listen how quiet that engine is running now. Now we're going to check boost heat. Yep, the heater is warming up. Isn't that a sweet sound? Let's let that thing come off idle. And if you're running quality vegetable oil, I found that you don't lose any power at all. In fact, one engine I was running on olive oil, which is a little too expensive, but it was actually producing more power than diesel fuel. For you diesel fans out there watching this video, you might want to do this to your own diesel engine. Check out my kits on my website. I have kits that will allow you to convert various phases of your engine to run on waste vegetable oil or straight vegetable oil. And for the icing on the cake, just go in the back of the car and take a whiff of the exhaust. It's just a wonderful smell. Well, we took it around the patch and it's really running well. Here you can look at the pre-filter and you can actually see that you've got a thicker fuel running through here just by the, the bubbles, okay? So now we're going to switch back to diesel. It is 424. Let's see how long it takes. We want to store the car. We want to make sure all the veggies out of it. And it's been purged with diesel. So what we're going to do is we're going to immediately turn the return back to the tank for diesel. We're going to turn this valve to diesel. We're going to turn the boost heater off and we're going to turn the pump off in the trunk, but we're going to turn this pump on. Now this pump is the diesel pump it's running. Okay, listen. Listen to the sound of the engine. We'll just run on camera here. It shouldn't take much more than a couple minutes. 
and it might even start idling a little bit faster because of the thinner fuel. We'll come back here in just a few minutes when it starts running on diesel. 426, and it's very obvious. Listen to the sound. We are running on diesel again. Take a look at the pre-filler. You can see it's actually pumping thinner fuel through the pre-filler. But it's very obvious. So what I do is I run the engine for at least five minutes before I'm going to park it and let it sit for over a week if I don't plan to drive the car. But listen to the engine now. This is the sweet sound of an OM617 turbo running on diesel fuel.